Hello everybody, Calamity here. I'm stuck in the Farina waiting room. Today's video, I just wanted to do a rant about the rewards in the Genshin Impact. Mainly for events and things like Spiral Abyss, but let's just talk about events for now. This has always been a thing where in Genshin, if you do the hardest challenge, uh, you are rewarded the least. So in the in one of the more recent events, uh, the Peaks and Trows Through Life uh, event, this is a combat event where you kill a bunch of mobs uh, using a bunch of different teams and you accumulate score. And as you can see, the best rewards are given to you early on at just 2,000. You'll get, you know, Primo Gems, especially for, you know, free-to-play players and low spenders is the most value thing, valuable thing you can get. Because, well, with the rest of the stuff, you know, you can always farm Mora, you can always farm EXP books, you can always farm the uh, weapon crystal things. And then you get to the, I believe it's the Platinum reward, trophy, whatever. And then you look at the rewards and it's like, what the heck is that? Literally two of these and then eight of these. Like, on one hand, I understand that they don't want to make new players and, you know, those that don't have optimally built teams and just play this game for fun, not feel bad for missing out on rewards. But on the other hand, I've also seen people say like, well, I'm not going to try hard for like, you know, 20,000 points or whatever the goalpost is for that event. If all they're giving is this, Right? Like, this doesn't motivate you to want to do better and try harder for events. You're, I mean, most of y'all are probably just happy with the, you know, 8,000 uh, point rewards, right? And then, you know, who cares about this? It's just a few crystals. Like, honestly, you could go out into your main world, go to your favorite mining spot, farm a bunch of crystal ore, then teleport to the nearest blacksmith of your choice in whatever major city and craft 20 of these blue ones specifically right and that will be faster than actually doing this event and getting the 20,000 because you have to go through three uh three teams and like multiple waves of monsters which can take a lot of time not only that while the uh you know the crystal ores are crafting in at the blacksmith you could just go explore get some treasure chests do some side quests whatever else you need to get done in genshin and you're being more time efficient than actually going for the twenty thousand point uh score or uh, rewards like obviously if you're a whale and you spend a lot of money on this game you're clearing this twenty thousand easily right this is no challenge for you and even for those that have been playing for a long time or you, maybe you spend a little, you know, maybe it took you a couple tries, but you're able to get it. And it doesn't feel good getting the 20,000 because, again, the rewards just don't feel good. What are you going to do? Brag to your friends? Oh, hey, you know the characters that I spent hundreds of dollars on and those five star weapons that I also spent a lot of money on? Look how much score I got in this latest event. Like, no one's going to be like, wow, that's crazy. Everyone's going to be like, well, yeah. I mean, we spent money, so it makes sense that you have some really strong characters and teams. Like, the rewards themselves don't even have to be Primo Gems. You know what I mean? Like, there are so many things that this could be to make it at least worthwhile to do. Like, if you don't want the new players to be upset that they're missing Primo Gems, then you could put maybe, like, Fragile Resin as a reward. You could put... Maybe purple uh, level weapon materials, purple level talent materials as a reward. Maybe some artifact boxes of your choosing as a reward. Uh, you could also put maybe like a weekly boss material of your choosing as a reward. There are so many things in this game that even whales are not able to, you know, bypass. You can't buy, um, you know weekly boss materials you're limited each week on on farming that so that would be a nice little incentive to hey if you do really well you'll get some unique rewards um you could even give us teapot coins <laughs> as a reward uh there's just so many things it doesn't have to be primo gems it doesn't have to be exp books it doesn't have to be mora 
I mean, although that would be nice as well, I'll take it over two blue crystals and eight green ones. Like, there's so many different things that could be given as rewards to players. And you could reward those that do want to, like, push, you know, push for the hardest um, rewards and actually feel good about it. Um, but to me, this system just sucks. Uh, but I am curious to hear what y'all think about it. Do you guys think it's fine? Do you guys think they should change the rewards up a bit? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. This is just a short little rant video since, you know, we're experiencing a little bit of, of Genshin downtime uh, for now, you know, since uh, the live stream delay and all that, but I'll have more videos out soon. Um, if you thought this video was at least a little bit interesting, don't forget to leave a like and or subscribe to the channel, and I'll be making more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.